In this video, you will see a short excerpt from an engine session with a beginner student. Olena, the volunteer, has just spent a few minutes chatting with her student about how their weeks are going and is starting with the session content. So today we will be talking about free time activities and all people have different hobbies and interests. And personally, I enjoy going to my dance classes and I love my dance team and I love learning new dances. And I also really like learning new languages. It opens new horizons for me and helps me become more open-minded. What about you? What, what do you like to do in your free time and why? Uh, I like reading. Um... Oh, you like reading? Yes, I like reading, watching movies, and drawing. The volunteer uses recasting to correct the student's mistake, without any further comment. Fine, and what's your favorite movie? Oh, I don't know. I like a lot of films. I prefer comedy, thriller, horror films, but maybe my favorite brand series. I like atmosphere and story, and my favorite hero is Rachel. She is so beautiful and interesting person. Yeah, I agree. I also like this show a lot. It's truly one of the best shows of all time, but please be careful with your verbs. So you said my favorite friend series. Are you missing a word, sir? Oh, my favorite is friend series. Yeah, that's perfect. And in the US, we usually say show instead of series. So I would say my favorite show is friends. Can you repeat that? Yeah, my favorite show is friends. The volunteer chooses the most prominent error to focus on and lets others go. If they keep happening, she will address them later in the session. She uses metalinguistic feedback, an explicit correction to correct the student. Okay, yeah. Now let's go to our childhood preferences and uh, what are some things that you liked to do when you were younger. For example, I used to like watching cartoons and spending time with uh, outdoors with my friends and you. Here we see the technique of modeling answers. When you ask a learner a question that requires more complicated structures, or if you ask and she's struggling to answer, you can answer it first. This prompts her with the necessary grammar structure. Here, it's used to. Uh, I used to. I used to like playing Lego. I always get something from Lego for all of the holidays, and this activity helped me create good skills. Great, that sounds nice. And I also think that Lego is a satisfying experience and keeps a person engaged for hours. Use praise and encouragement when a learner accurately completes a task, remembers vocabulary, or uses appropriate grammar structure. And what don't you like doing? Why not? I think I don't like washing the dishes and ironing because my mom always asks me to do that when I want to play computer games with my friends. And you? I'm not a fan of taking out the trash because I need to do it every day in the morning when I'm already in a hurry. Um, and now, can you please repeat, I think after me, so you need to say think, producing a hissing sound. So please say the following words like thunder, thin, tooth, uh, thing, with. But I don't see the difference. Okay, okay, let's watch the video and uh, repeat the words there. So can you see the screen? Yes, yes. Okay. And the TH consonant sounds and th, an English pronunciation lesson. The TH and th sounds are commonly mispronounced by English language learners. This is not surprising because in their first languages, the tongue simply does not move the way it does in English. To produce the TH and th sounds, we place the tip of the tongue between the teeth, then blow air. Th a failure to put the tongue between the teeth when making a TH sound in English results in the voiceless sounding like a S or a T 
For example, many Chinese speakers say sinks instead of thinks. The voiced z becomes a z or a d. For example, many French speakers say there instead of there. So remember, to produce the th and th sounds, think about where the tip of your tongue is and put it between your teeth. Listen and repeat. Okay, yeah, let's now listen and repeat. So uh, after this uh, speaker. The voiceless th sound with no vibration in the vocal cords. Thanks. Thanks. Great. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. Think. Think. Just think about it. Just think about it. Okay, great. Yeah, I hope the video was useful for you. If your body seems to repeatedly struggle to pronounce certain sounds, it may be because they don't exist in her native language. For this reason, one of the best and most effective ways to start practicing pronunciation is working with pairs of sounds like th and th, f and v, etc. A good idea would be to watch a short video showing the difference between certain sounds and repeat the words. And um, now let's talk about talents now. There are a lot of TV shows where people can demonstrate their unique talents like X Factor. Uh, do you have similar programs in your country? Yes, we also have different shows. Uh, Ukraine has a talent and X Factor. They are very popular. I like to watch it. Yeah, and do you have any talents? Yes, I can to sing. Oh, uh, you can sing? Uh, yeah, you're lucky because I don't have an ear for music. And how often do you do that? Uh, I often sing when I'm at home alone or in a shower, which is quite common, you know? Yeah, I see. Uh, interesting. And what is your favorite song and why? My favorite song is Hello by Adele. I like it because it, it is very sensitive with nice lyrics. Try to avoid very open-ended questions with beginner students. For example, tell me about your talents. Instead, ask a series of specific targeted questions to help your learner in holding a conversation. 